Niagara Parks is creating a one-of-a-kind, breathtaking experience for their visitors. They have their work cut out. After all, they're competing with Niagara Falls, one of the world's most awesome natural wonders. The tech team have been working day and night to complete the ride. Yaz Takata, the visual director, and a group of Tinseltown's best special effects wizards are preparing for one last shoot. They need to capture extreme close-up shots from a helicopter, just 50 feet above the fall's edge, but it's a very dangerous shoot. Niagara has a sensitive microclimate. Its mist causes ever-changing temperature and wind conditions, and this has caused fatal helicopter accidents in the past. They'll be using nine high-resolution cameras and a specially designed rig. These powerful digital cameras were developed for satellite use. This is the first time they've been used in a 360-degree shoot. Yaz needs to capture new close-up images to give the audience a one-of-a-kind experience of what it would be like to actually fly over the falls. The images will be projected on a screen with no dividers. What's unique about this 360 as opposed to uh, 360s from the past, it's, it's seamless, there's no emollient. So it's a complete 360, edge blended, nine separate screens, nine digital cameras. The weather is acting up. Too much wind means they'll have to call off the shoot. They finally get clearance from Canadian Air Control to fly before the clouds roll in. Few pilots are ever granted permission to get this close to the falls. A few years back, two helicopters collided with several fatalities. The team have to guide the rig, making the takeoff and landing extremely dangerous. One false move could flip this chopper. 1.6.5, thank you. This customized rig took more than six months to build, costing half a million dollars. The cameras record two times the resolution of ordinary high-definition video. Their high-spec wide-angle lenses create amazing 360-degree panoramas. It's beautiful today. Wow. That's it, nice and smooth. We are speeding. The wind is starting to pick up. A wild gust could put this team's lives at serious risk. It's a treacherous flight over the Niagara River, but they need to get shots of this white water. These rapids are rated class six. That is the highest rating. Boating of any kind is strictly prohibited. Just gentle enough. Beautiful. <laughs> They finally arrive over the falls, and what a sight it is. They fly over the horseshoe in a circular formation to make sure they get all the best angles. These are just the pictures the team set out to get. The weather conditions are perfect. That was pretty neat. During the flight, the chopper gathered 20 kilovolts of static electricity generated by the blade's friction with the air. If this isn't handled properly, it could cause the fuel to explode. A static stick is used to discharge the electrical output. Everyone lands safely. Another shoot is not an option. They have less than two days to get the experience of the falls perfect. Yaz makes the final call. He needs these images to create a realistic sense of what it's like to go over the falls. But will these shots have the wow factor he's looking for? Okay. We're done. The shots are approved. The director of photography is relieved. See how close they were to the edge? Oh, man. The next step is merging the visuals into the 360-degree video. I have to take all those footage and stitch them together, which is basically a 360-degree strip, which is nine high-def video cameras. 
Back in the theater, John is concerned that the water bursts aren't firing properly. Guests have traveled from all over the world to be the first on the ride, and nobody wants to let them down. For the first pass, we'll get the, the wind done. Yeah, yeah the wind is wind for sure. Wind and volume. They've been working around the clock to make sure all the elements come together. The big day is here. It's the moment of truth for Niagara's team. It's just seconds away from what they hope is a mind-blowing experience. The audience is hooked. Time to soak up the falls in all its glory. One of the most exciting things about the process is actually seeing the smile and shock on its faces. Having taken it from pencil sketching to a final product today it has been probably four years of my life. Coming up, a ride that takes fear levels to a new dimension. But how have designers given X2 a really X-rated boost?